And we turn you to the latest on the coronavirus in Connecticut. Later this morning, the COVID-19 vaccine will be arriving at Bacchus Hospital in Norwich. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Susanna is live there now with all the details for us. So Roger, when will these doses arrive? Yeah, good morning, Nicole. A very special delivery will arrive here at Bacchus Hospital, we're told, around 1130 this morning. And then administrators say, listen, they're not going to waste any time later this afternoon. 30 frontline workers here at Bacchus Hospital will receive their first dose of this vaccine. And listen, I think it certainly goes without saying that this is a very exciting time in our nation's fight against COVID-19. Channel 3 cameras were there yesterday as the first doses reached Connecticut at Hartford Hospital. And healthcare workers tell us this really is pretty incredible because keep in mind, it's been less than a year since the first confirmed coronavirus case hit the U.S. So really, this vaccine was developed at lightning speed. But experts are warning this morning that that doesn't mean that COVID-19 is just going to disappear. We are at the beginning of a very long process. Several Connecticut hospitals will receive doses of the vaccine over the next few days. And then next week, nursing homes will start vaccinations. And then hopefully by the end of the year, about 100 providers will be qualified and trained to administer this vaccine. Dr. Keith Grant from Hartford Healthcare, who received his first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine yesterday, says one of the biggest challenges is ensuring the general public that the treatment is safe. A lot of people when asked, will you get the vaccine right away? The, the number right now, I think, is about 45% of people says absolutely yes. And healthcare experts say they want to double that percentage. They hope that very soon, 90% of the general public will feel confident getting this vaccine. Coming up in half an hour, we're going to talk about what will happen if that does not reach that 90% percentage. Reporting live in Norwich this morning, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.